வணக்கம் ஸோ வில் ஸ்டார்ட் அவர் இன்ஜினியரிங் சைஸ்மாலஜி லெக்சர்ஸ் வில் கண்டினியூ ஸோ வி ஹவ் பீன் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் த ப்ரிடிக்ஷன் ஆஃப் த அர்த் கேக் ஸோ வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் த சேயிங் தட் இட் இஸ் நாட் பாசிபிள் ப்ரிடிக்ட் வெரி அக்யூரேட்லி அர்த் கேக் பட் ஸ்டில் வி ஹவ் பீன் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் நைன் வே ஆஃப் ப்ரிடிக்டிங் த அர்த் கேக் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வி சி வித் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் அப் ஆன் த டைம் ஹவ் வி ப்ரிடிக்ட் ஓகே ஸோ இட்ஸ் லைக் த ஷார்ட் டேம் லாங் டேம் and then medium time prediction so uh, generally the short time prediction is uh, within a day okay within a day if it is predicted 24 hours or 48 hours kind of things in our basis prediction is the short term prediction so uh, maybe up to a month we can say short term prediction a month to year is basically medium time prediction so before several years basically a long term prediction so uh, even though the scientific basis of the earthquake okay so uh, somewhere represented in the earthquake prediction that is a good way of predicting the earthquake so there are uh, non scientific relation with the earthquake activity which may not be the so much attractive as told that astrology based prediction okay so the planet position based prediction even though the theory may be strong on that okay mathematics theory may be strong but the relation with the earthquake what happens okay it's not very clearly explained on those methods but what we discussed nine uh, approaches basically all of them uh, yeah, basically the related with the earthquake so we have started with the unusual animal behavior okay where that you know? so as we have seen that uh, so the animal has a extra sensing capacity than a human so uh, which is capable of predicting the the nature okay so behavior of the earth so which usually moves away from the epicenter so most of the animal who lives on the places where there is going to be a epicenter or there is a going to be a dangerous going to come due to the tsunami or something like that okay so this animal senses that and move from that particular area to the safer area okay so that is how the animal behavior has been uh used unusual animal behavior has been used to predict the earthquake we have seen that so 1975 7.3 magnitude successfully predicted in the china which was the first and uh, scientific evidence where the earthquake has been predicted but even though there are a lot of people reported that unusual animal behavior in the earthquake but scientifically proved and predicted with that but there we also noticed that it is not only the animal behavior it is also the hydraulic uh, chemical hydrochemical uh, pressure and water table rise so these are all the parameters also basically helped to predict the uh, earthquake okay so that was maybe the success case so uh, then we have seen uh, like a rise in the temperature water level random gases oil well so all those parameters if you look at all of them basically so all these things basically related with the what happens with the crust crust of the rock when moves so when the both the rock okay it's going to break okay so then so whatever happening here which in the form of bore wall and then the temperature so all those phenomena is somewhere related to the the mechanics and physics of the earthquake so that is maybe the reason that when you have two three sequential event at the same place there is a success rate of earthquake being so uh, increases but uh, the problem is that uh, so these are all the technique like oil well random gas water level temperature hydrochemical uh, changes it's uh, not going to give you the the size of the earthquake so that is the one of the issue maybe the place of the earthquake we can know and maybe you can predict in the short term range all of them because it is uh, as a, like a week or two days or few hours can help but the size of the earthquake is not possible but at least animal behavior they told that the animals are going to behave uh, unusual very unusual way close to the earthquake period okay so that was the observation it is made so linking up this at least some extent we can predict a earthquake that is what we discussed so even though it is not well practiced and no earthquake has been successfully predicted so after china earthquake very few earthquakes have been predicted so but this theory is somebody adopt very well okay it can be predicted so the another one where if you have the recorded data okay the recorded data means the waveform okay the history of the earthquake 
okay so how many years what big earthquake happened in that so uh, those kind of data will help the theory of seismic gap for shock and changes in the seismic wave velocity okay so like vp and vs ratio pattern changes so these things are possible by using the instrumented record instrumented record so the overall all this method uh, basically scientifically prove okay these are all uh, successful method if you combine them very effectively and this one so as on india uh, as per my knowledge many people report uh, these are all the signature or whatever unusual way uh, whatever observation they made after the earthquake as on now there is no earthquake in india has been predicted using this technology so um, those who are uh, auditing this course or taking the course willing to work on this area provided if you have the access to the data and some way where you can have the control over the local uh, places so i can help basically to get this done success okay for part of your study or part of your research project so anyway i can help or extending that for example if you want to predict the earthquake at uh, uttarakhand okay so you want to, you are living at the place so you you should have first the recording data access to you you should have the recorded acceleration time history continuously whenever we want you should have the access that if you have and the second you have the control over local area control over means for example uh, you should uh, have the if i tell you that go and uh, check, install a digital uh, well monitoring sensors so you should able to install and get your data yourself without any interpretation so you should have some kind of administrative control as well as the people support and monitoring animal behavior so these are all things if you do in the active regions like the place there may be success rate that we can predict relatively at least for few hours before the earthquake it will reduce a human casualties okay that is a very important so reduction of the human casualty is a prime importance for any of the planning and modeling and then controlled way of approaching that this one so that is what you are seeing even the covid 19 okay so as on today there was a lot of precautionary steps has been taken by the government basically to monitor who has that virus make them isolated from the mass so that it doesn't spread well and then give them enough medicine okay and then the treatment so that they overcome so these are all the way one can control the at least casualties okay so that is a very prime important so that way by doing this kind of studies one can help to minimize the human loss due to the any future earthquake particularly active regions like a uh, plate boundary where there is a suspicious Uh, about the seismic gap and uh, very big due earthquake in those regions like we said that uh, western um, seismic gap central seismic gap eastern seismic gap those region at least those who are interested to involve on that i will be happy to support and extend all my knowledge as well as the team and the equipments what i have as i told you that i have the dedicated seismometer which can record a earthquake okay so we have the technology to measure the dynamic properties of the medium okay so where the down hole survey up hole survey and then msw seismic survey gpr to monitor the there is a, any variation in the, uh, the surface material movement okay like the fractures are happening basically you get change in the dielectric property of the material which can can i can monitor using the ground penetrating radar uh, then electrical resistivity tomography so this are all the survey if we do frequently at one location you can able to sense what happens in the dielectric properties of the medium electromagnetic wave changes so all those things can be put together in some way where we can get up a better prediction which will also help you to develop a future uh, uh, kind of uh, technology or streamlined methodology where it will be monitored okay so that way it will help so i will be happy to extend my support whoever if you are interested with financial support and necessary administrative support both i can only provide the facilities okay and then guidance not the finance support and then local administrative i don't have any power on those kind of things but these things at least will help to overcome that so even if you predict earthquake as i told you that knowing earthquake location okay so the size okay and then the Uh, may not be sufficient to prevent a damage because for that you should know how much okay so damage is expected so that is also very 
another level of importance, but we have done extensive research on that. So, if somebody is able to predict valid prediction, okay, the date and time of the earthquake, okay, the place of occurrence, magnitude, okay, so then using this data, okay, based on our experience and research what I do, actually I can get the acceleration time history of the data, okay, synthetically as I told you that we do. So, any earthquake I can get anywhere in India, we have been equipped for doing that kind of thing. So, once I get this, okay, then I will be able to say that which are the area will affect more, which are the area will affect less because we have been working on intensity predictive equations and models, ground motion predictive equations and models which we will be discussing in the detail future classes, but just I am telling you. So, which will help you to identify what type of damage level okay, 50 percent, 60 percent, whatever damage level you can expect and what is the acceleration you can expect. So, based on that one can go for the next the level up uh, using that prediction effectively to prevent. Not only prediction will help because even if you say that uh, this is the earthquake going to come, if there is no proper uh, planning and then estimation is the useless data. Okay. So, uh, but since I have work research, do research on this area work extensively, so I can support uh, those knowledges to get all the information. Okay. So, if time permits, I will also discuss uh, one of the recent year, um, work what we are doing with respect to the future earthquake. So, what we have taken basically Himalayan region, okay, so uh, we have identified about 16 seismic gap, okay, 16 seismic gap uh, where the seismologists and geologists believe that there may be chances of some earthquake in this region in the future. So, what we did actually this 16 location, okay, so this 16 location. So, what we did actually? So, we estimated a probable magnitude using the regional rupture character which I developed, we will be discussing that regional rupture character of the this one and estimated each location what is the M max possible. So, using this M max, we estimated, we simulated gridded pattern a uh, acceleration time history at each location at a depth of bedrock. Indo-Gangetic Basin 270 location we created 16 into 270 uh, earthquake has been created at each location. Then using the dynamic properties what we measured using the MSW and other we estimated what is the expected PGA value at the surface what is the amplification. So, that the future design can people can consider this and design. So, by the time if the I get the acceptance of the manuscript I will give you the some glints up about this study which was one of the uh, good study where which will help basically to future hazard will be considered in the present. So, like that those kind of technologies okay, developments are available with us. So, as I told you that the earthquake prediction how it will help. Okay. So, sometime the wrong prediction will create a unnecessary disturbance and impact in the society which will be more than the impact caused by the earthquake itself. So, what are those problems? Those problems called as a socio-economic impact and adjustment on a earthquake prediction. So, if the earthquake predictions are not done properly and also if done even properly with a different time period, what is the socio-economic impact? So, that is, is a one of the main concern. Many scientists believe that prediction of earthquake will almost create a lot of other trouble in that case not predicting itself good that is what they believe group of scientists. So, the socio-economic consequences of earthquake forecast are subject of some controversy yet the seismological research continues number of earthquake warning from diverse source will be probably continue to be issued at varied countries example for example number of Four warning have been issued in the China after successful prediction of those earthquakes 1975. Some countries studies on unfavorable as well as uh, propitious consequence of the prediction have been made. For example, if the time of large demanding earthquake in California were accurately predicted a year or ahead of time, the continuously updated casualties and even property damage directly resulting from the earthquake might be much reduced. But at the same time, so at the same time, so the communities wider region might suffer social disruption and decline the local economy. 
Okay. So, uh, that what happens that is what we are going to discuss in detail. For example, if after the scientific prediction of the official warning and massive public demand of the earthquake insurance, okay, so earthquake insurance cuts its availability and then temporary but drastic effect of property values, real estate sale, construction, investment and employment and then all this all the will affect. So, basically somebody predict a one year or two years before saying that a big earthquake going to happen in the Bangalore. Then what happens? The company who is uh, I mean working in the Bangalore, they try to move away from Bangalore. For example, software companies which is the one of the main income for the uh, government. So, if they, they will be shifting to Mysore or some other place where they are more convenient. Okay. So, in that case, so, if once the software company moves, people will lose their job who is locally uh, engaged in the job. That is the one thing. Second, government loses its income, tax and grant due to that. So, the software people moves, then the associated problems. Okay. So, the person who is selling to them vegetable and all the groceries, all those people get, chain of people will get affected. Okay. So, not only that. Okay. So, then the next is these people mostly buy apartments and stay and then so they what they will do so basically these people like there are about uh, uh, lakh and two lakh three lakh people are moving together so then they will sell their houses the real estate value will reduce okay demand for insurance will increase people all of them want to insure their house because something happens they will get some compensation so the demand for the insurance will uh, get the real estate business will cut then since there is no real estate buyer and all construction will affect Okay, so, then the employment, okay, unemployment, all those things will be created because there is a mass moving of this company. I am giving you a, a bit of uh, scenario. So, this even you can experience uh, people uh, because of this lockdown, you might have seen that many cities, okay, so many cities, many people are jobless because the company has to pay without job. That is what government says during the lockdown. So, how the company will pay when the company is running uh, with some income from the outsourced work. So, if the nobody is giving them job, how they pay to the employee, then the employee losing the job. So, the employee is not getting the job. So, how he will spend money? If he do not spend your money, how economical will grow? So, basically the people who are small scale business, they are all affected very widely. That is why government after some time, even there is an increase in the rise of COVID-19 cases. In order to stabilize the economy, they try to open up and say that people be safe and try to yourself isolate and make things happen sir, no spreading is happening. So, that is the way this one. So, this this is at least where uh, it is only disease, okay? it does not create any this one. But this kind of earthquake kind of things, it affects the entire big area when compared to other area. For example, if the Bangalore is predicted, people easily move to Chennai. Now, it is not possible because everywhere the same scenario. So, in the earthquake it is possible they move to Mysore, they move to Chennai, they move to Hyderabad. So, where the one place uh, the demand will increase, another place the supply will so, uh, suffer. So, all those things is a sequential event which is a socio-economic impact of the prediction, prediction of the long term earthquake. Okay. Sometime this impact, okay, the loss due to this okay, will be much, much more than the, the actual earthquake which is even occurred in the same place. So, that was the scientific argument that some of the scientists believe that this will not. So, but it would be economic and social impact of the prediction over a coming year. So, if it is likely that large number of people would move away from business would shut down, the economic would probably go free fall, the economic and social cost of the so new town would. So, the basically people when move to other place, again there the land cost will increase, okay? living cost of the people will increase. So, uh, such kind of things will uh, again affect the that region also. Okay. So, there people may be like getting a, uh, some uh, vegetables at x rupees because of this new people move there. So, then the x become a 2 x 3 x. Okay. So, that is what you have seen even COVID time when the lockdown was announced without uh, proper intimation. So, many of the groceries and vegetable shop raised. So, same thing will happen when people migrate from one place to other place, all those things problems will come. So, this is also made as per worse than one consider that the prediction cannot be 100 percent. When the prediction is not 100 percent reliable, okay, this kind of uh, scenarios are make more, more and worse. In case after happening all these things, the earthquake does not happen, then it is a very problematic because the people moved, they cannot resettle all those things. 
So, this kind of problems are scientist thinking that okay. So, uh, should not end up by prediction wrong things. So, unless otherwise there is a sure and reliable then only the earthquake prediction should be informed okay. So, the unnecessary economic and social functioning okay of the world and Newton will be reduced considerably this kind of steps are taken. So, if the economic and social impact are very long okay. So, long term prediction are problematic. So, the about what about the short term prediction. So, uh, say a prediction is made same earthquake strike in, in a new turn in 24 hours now. For example, Bangalore I predict that before tomorrow evening there is a big earthquake going to happen. So, then what will uh, it will do that basically. So, uh, then uh, the people ok. So, if it does not have the proper preparedness ok they try to move ok they try to escape as a mass. So, that will create a traffic congestion and then stamping and then a lot of other issues ok. And then since people know that if something happens I will be losing this that everything they also do involve in the criminal activities. And I mean maybe now you might have seen that there is a lot of the WhatsApp and YouTube videos where because of this COVID lockdown ok. So, people even a rich people trying to steal break a stop shop and try to get whatever they want. So, these are all the uh, this kind of uh, pandemic and epidemic activities will. So, similarly this kind of short term prediction will lead ok to the uh, different problem. So, in the practical problem lies again uncertainty prediction let us say that the prediction was perfectly correct in terms of time and magnitude, but it was some distance away ok. So, if the 100 percent predictions are not achieved ok there is a problem. The short term prediction also putting pressure on that for example, hospitals may not be made ready because 24 hours nothing you can do as you know that the system of working and all those things. So, then uh, even uh, if you prepared you cannot avoid the damage only you can do small things ok like you can close the schools ok. So, where but still people in the house also safe or not we do not know ok the mass gathering can be prevented. So, those are all the some of the steps which help on the short term prediction to overcome all those things, but the error in the prediction with respect to location because as we know that the earthquakes are going to affect starting from the epicenter area about a few kilometers to the 750 kilometers. So, somebody predict with the error of 100 or 200 kilometer with geological scale is nothing because if you uh, put a India in the whole uh, whole world map. So, if you mark some dot, so that will represent several several uh, tens of kilometers. So, if there is an error in such kind of kilometer, so ok. So, then it will for example, you say that this location at are going to come, it is happening at 200 kilometer away from that area. So, these people may be prepared, but those people may be relaxed, they will die more ok. Those kind of consequences also dangerous when you do not have the 100 percent prediction possibilities ok. So, these are all the aspects we are talking about the socio economic issues with respect to prediction of the earthquake particularly when there is not possible to predict 100 percent ok. Let us say that the earthquake location magnitude was exactly right, but it happened 3 days after the prediction. What happens if the time prediction is wrong? One we have seen that the distance prediction, next is the time prediction. So, you say that tomorrow I said that next 24 hours before, but unfortunately it happened that because of the, the geological uh, the age and calculation problem, but then people oh it does not going to happen why we should worry too much. Then after 2 days the same earthquake happened many people will die than they expected because these people will be now relaxed they do not even believe second time tsunami uh, that warning system has been issued or kind of things ok. This is uh, in fact uh, true. So, soon after Sumatra uh, tsunami government set up a warning system and then they also try to announce ok. So, uh, what happened but uh, as the tsunami is only happened going to happen when the vertical display there are earthquake in the sea, but it does not have the vertical display which is only horizontal. So, but the government since earthquake is there soon after that they start issuing the tsunami warning there are many false tsunami warning system has been issued by the government ok. So, these are all the things which is a problematic people even if you issue sometime the right information because of several faults this they do not follow a right one ok. These are all the some of the social behavior 
impact on this earthquake wrong prediction ok. So, the mechanics of the earthquake makes prediction the more even problematic. First, if the common imagine that the earthquake is similar to the bomb being detonated at a point underground with the energy waves travelling away from the point actual mechanism are rather different. So, in fact, the earthquake occurs as a result of two blocks moving past each other in a fault the underground surface the energy wave being radiated from the earth point is the surface. The earthquake typically starts with the rupture event that starts slippage which even spread along the fault over a period typically few minutes. So, the the phenomena ok the mechanism happens in the earthquake sometime what happen the if you predict the earthquake at is a point and say that around this 100 kilometer will affect, but sometime it affects on only one direction of the earthquake for example, depends upon the fault orientation other direction even though it may be closer to the epicenter it may not experience any uh, problem. So, when you have the urban settlement ok so, Delhi kind of regions ok the earthquakes uh, are occurring at one place, but it is going to damage severely one place another place not damaging then this can create a lot of uh, problem with the people ok. So, a lot of uh, the management issues and handling up. So, all those things are the common uh, because the people who are uh, not faced with this kind of uh, hazard will uh, be this one. So, it is necessary ok to predict well the earthquake one is that even if the not only prediction that prediction how it going to cause a damage ok how it going to that area going to behave uh, how the wave propagation that area going to happen because of that earthquake. So, if you want to model these aspects well before and then predict the earthquake and link both of them and adopt a the warning system or a, a precautionary measures that will be more efficient way ok. So, as we have seen that ok the earthquakes are occur anywhere on the fault ok. So, then ok so this earthquake so anywhere in the fault it occurs ok then the waves get radiate. So, depends upon the location ok as you we have seen in the uh, wave propagation theory you get a yeah, one place ok. So, less amplification ok. So, this is a this one. So, here a more amplification. So, like that depends upon the place to place these waves are keep changing. So, you should know you should understand this well advance then only your prediction data you can use effectively to prevent a loss to the human loss or also this one. So, for example, so the rock region the damage will be completely different a basin region the damage will be completely different. So, this is the 2 D modeling of particular basin which is almost similar to our endogangetic kind of things where a thick deposit in that the earthquake happens you can see the different point of the waveform ok you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, each location you will have the different waveform. So, depends upon as you know that the wave amplitude and duration you are going to get a damage. So, modeling of this wave ok is very very important understanding of this wave how it modifies in the regions also very very important. If you have this knowledge then you predict the earthquake then you interlink both of them then you can it is a possible to get more reliable loss assessment from the earthquake ok. So, the mechanics based earthquake predictions are very well, but if it is not very sure you should not create a panic among the people because it will going to create a so so economic social economic impact ok. Sometime these impacts are very large ok. So, I can give you the example ok. So, this COVID 19 lockdown. So, uh, because uh, the migration of the people who are in the different places of India not consider while you are while issuing the lockdown. So, many people are suffered without job without food then they started moving themselves by walking ok. So, now what happen all this generation will have the mindset at any cost I should not go move from my land to other places because I may end up in similar kind of situation in the future. So, this kind of the psychological problem will come ok people will be here after will be afraid after COVID 19 lockdown at different countries people will be afraid to go to other countries afraid to go to travel afraid to go to work for other places. So, obviously, this all will impact on the economics 
okay so the people may you may not get a proper people to do your job okay you may not get a proper uh, support for anything as you seen that the air uh, uh, industry was uh, one of the worst affected because the tourism industry is another one worst affected here after people will be afraid to go unnecessarily travel okay nobody will be willing to go here and there as i told you that the social the interaction will reduce considerably travel will reduce it will also affect the subsequent industry which is suffering okay so here after the malls movie theaters and then mass gathering people will be problem even uh, the marriage halls okay so there is a time when january or other places marriage hall used to charge you know for one day they used to charge 10 lakh 15 lakh rupees to conduct a marriage so now they told that there is no more marriage with mass gathering so all those businesses got gone okay so such kind of social behavior and economical impact will create the wrong kind of things prediction particularly earthquake if you predict wrongly all this will synchronously will affect okay so in order to take care that if you are only 100% sure the prediction is going to right then issue a warning okay otherwise say that this prediction this time if you stay away okay at least you can save your life okay such kind of things will happen but more or less anything which is related with the plate tectonics and wave propagation based prediction will be more reliable and more authenticated that is what i think actually according to the subject also if you understand the physics behind the earthquake that is the only way it will help so hopefully india right now we don't have any system of wave prediction of earthquake but in future at least i hope some scientist will work towards that where people have access to the data control over local monitoring system then we will be success in predicting a bigger earthquake that will reduce lot of people life okay so the fatality will be reduced economic loss will be corrected if we predict well so we should work towards that at least to future we can reduce this kind so with this we will be uh, closing our earthquake prediction subject which we have discussed in the last four classes so this is the one of the very interesting and fascinated subject many people try to work even a starting from school student because the prediction of earthquake i was telling you know, if somebody is 100% success in prediction earthquake subsequently they predict okay so they even get a nobel prize okay there is no well established way of predicting the earthquake only it is happening sometime sometime it is not happening because of the several associated geological scale behavior of the crust okay so hopefully uh, this will uh, science will grow future you know? even if you predicted earthquake it doesn't mean that you will escape from the earthquake okay the damage and losses so how do you reduce those kind of things so the prediction is one thing okay but right now prediction is not possible okay that 100 percent we are sure that earthquake cannot be predicted well so the another way is then how do you minimize loss due to the earthquake damage due to the earthquake if earthquake comes so that is that prediction of earthquake hazard parameters or prediction of earthquake hazard not prediction of earthquake is the prediction of earthquake hazard okay so the prediction of earthquake hazard okay so prediction of earthquake hazard parameters the ground motion parameters time domain parameters those kind of activities are the next very important activity to reduce the impact due to the earthquake okay so that is what we are going to discuss from the next class onwards thank you very much for watching this video so we'll see in the next class thank you